San Carla, we don't have any kind of rain here, but we, of no, course, we, we just have heat, heat and more heat and just unrelenting sun, huh? That's right. You just summed it up. <laughs> let's take a okay, look. Okay, there's your forecast. Yeah, there's your forecast. Now the next topic. <laughs> uh, let's go and take a look at temperatures as we speak. And I'm again showing you this wide view like I did yesterday because, again, we're the hot spot in the southwest. We're hotter than Palm Springs, than Phoenix, certainly than St. George. But again, Palm Springs, Phoenix, we're usually just a couple of degrees cooler. So that is when you know the heat is very, very significant. But let's look at the bright side. We're running at least Two degree cooler, two degrees cooler than at this time yesterday in Henderson at McCarran, North Las Vegas, not seeing much of a difference, but Boulder City actually running four degrees cooler than at this time yesterday. So, hey, there's a little bit of good news there. Satellite radar composite still everything staying out to our east. We're waiting for some of this to push in our direction, although it still looks like the best possibilities are going to be for to our south. It looks like by Wednesday it will spread into our area mountains uh, and the humidity will certainly be on the increase. So we will feel if we don't get the showers and thunderstorms, we will feel it certainly a little bit more muggy, which is not good news because we're still going to look at very, very hot temperatures. So by Monday afternoon, everything's still off to our east. By the time we head into Tuesday at 5 o'clock, that humidity continues to push into the area. Everything's still off to the east. But notice by Wednesday, these greens spreading into uh, area mounds. So this is when we could see maybe a stray storm may its way off of the mountains, but nevertheless, we're actually going to start the chances for rain each and every afternoon starting on Tuesday. But again, the heat is going to be unrelenting. So with the increased humidity, we could possibly see an excessive heat warning issued across the area. 110 Monday, Tuesday, then coming up to 111 on Wednesday, Thursday. And while we're still not quite close to the records, we're not terribly far, particularly as we get to Wednesday and Thursday, only a three degree difference there on Thursday between 111 and 114 and we're still seeing a little bit of a breeze out there that has unfortunately assisted in some of that uh, smoke from those fires in California to make their way into our area. They are out of the southwest 14 sustained as we speak still steady into the seven o'clock hour. However, by the time we get into nine o'clock, 10, 11, they will taper down and they're actually going to be calmer for tomorrow. 109 as we speak, though, are those winds out of the southwest at 14 miles per hour. For tonight, still very warm across the area. 85 Sunrise Manor, 83 Anthem and Summerlin. Then for tomorrow, another very hot day right at 110 for McCarran. Uh, Henderson at 110 as well and our usual cool spot, if you will, Summerlin at 105. So there is your 13 first alert seven day planner. Just unrelenting heat. There's your very slight chance for a stray thunderstorm starting on Tuesday, lasting all the way through the weekend, through the beginning of the weekend. We'll have a couple of breezy days on Friday and Saturday, but I do want to note that it looks like by next Sunday, the chances for rain are going to get better and note a little bit of a cool down. So we're going to keep an eye on that for you as we uh, move through the next several days. Of course, it's still seven days away, but that's what it looks like at this point. Back to you.